Hey, it's Coolio, if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the extra long run where we are playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So, last time we uh, completed a bunch of uh, hero quests and then found a bunch more hero quests, so we're probably going to be doing those this time. So, uh, we have three of them to do. Uh, we have one involving this lady in back here, Fiona, who is an Agnian commander who is in desperate need of help, so we're probably going to do her quest first. Um, we also are dealing with a... Um, hang on. We have two or three? Okay, we have two active ones, sorry. So we have this one with Fiona, uh, where we need to repel a Kavesi raid on Colony Mu. And also this one here, which involves a Mobius who does not give a singular crap about being Mobius. So we're going to do the one with Fiona first, because... She was in a more urgent need, and quite frankly, I didn't have the time to actually do the thing. Um, which is the button, there we go. Didn't actually have the time to do the thing uh, at the end of the last stream, so we're gonna do it now. do. Big friend. Alright. Well, there is an ether channel, but uh, if I recall correctly, we are actually full on ethering it. What happens if I try to collect it? You can never go wrong with some ether. Okay, it just straight up tries to collect it anyway and then auto sells it. Hmm. Doesn't look like a, like I can actually get up from here, so... We're going to narrowly avoid falling off the world. And then get stuck here. So, reverse we go. work I think. I love the sea though oh, oh, okay. Sure. Is that you Fiona? Are you okay? <laughs> hmm. Well that's a problem.
Uh, is there like a button or something? Because the quest tracer is telling me to go through here and I can't. So that's cool. Yeah, I think this is where I go. This, uh, not gonna lie, this thing is kind of jank to control it. time. Oh dear. Looks like there have uh, there've already been some casualties. Summer. I'm so sorry. We shouldn't have been alone. Let's send her on. Her voice deserves to be heard. All right. We can't leave it like this. I like how it showed as uh, an affinity has been logged when you know, this we know nothing about this person except she was a friend of Fiona's and now she's dead. And now she's Moats. some fighting nearby, so we're probably getting close. I hear some more casualties. Sean, he kept everyone safe. It must Did have he? hurt so much. Fiona, leave the rest to us. Yes. Thank you. Such is the Opsia's duty. Should I go this way or should I go that way? I think that way goes forward. This is kind of a side path. Not liking the look of that sky. That's gonna lead to some more husks. <laughs> Are you all right? 
crying isn't going to change anything. Noah, Mio, would you mind taking care of everyone? That's our job. Such is the officer's duty. Excuse me. Contain her here. Wonder what's inside. I found something shiny. We should take good care of that. Ah. Thought I came down here. You operate it like so. Okay. Of course. Don't mind me just opening up all of the paths think you operate it like to call me so. Okay. Of course. Anything else over here? Just to plunge into the water, which I don't want to do. Can I dig something up? Eventually. I think that's the idea. Of some more, but let's actually do what we're here to do. That'd be a good idea. Well, this was entertaining. Quite a contest. <sighs> Indeed. And it ended with your loss. Irma! What hit you? Sorry. How's everyone? Fiona! Oh, Fifi, I was so worried about you. We're surrounded. And pretty badly depleted. Men, aim for that banner. It's their commander, Fiona. Dream on, mother! We should go. All of us, yes. We didn't ask for these outsiders. This is still our fight. But the wounded... Ah, oh, it's nothing. We're good. Yeah, we're fine. It's not fighting fit. Relax, Fifi. You worry far too much. In Colony Mew, we fight as one. Right, folks? You guys... Trust 
trust your crew. Trust yourself. Trust in victory. All hearts as one. We'll make it together. Yeah! So, wait. Is Fiona's weapon literally just a flag? I mean, if everyone's interlinking, let's, uh, let's do it. It's not when I would have picked to do it, but you know. Do it, Flusher. <laughs> right? Come what may, we'll always be together. <sighs> Plants! Everybody! Thank you so much for saving our lives! Whoa! All right, steady on. We're not deaf. We were just gonna walk away. I couldn't let you go without a proper thank you. Even if... Even if you're Ouroboros, the betrayers, Hang on. No, no. No need to explain. You're our saviors. That's right. You even healed our wounded. Yeah, you don't look like baddies to me. Exactly. And I noticed that when we were fighting side by side, you guys all trust one another. That's why. You've made up your mind, have you, Fiona? Yeah, that's why I want to try trusting too. I want to destroy our flame clock. Would you mind doing us this one last favor? I mean, we were planning on doing that anyway. But why the sudden request? We heard about a liberated colony from Nothon travelers. That's what got me thinking. There should be more to life than spending it fighting all the time. Being ready to die and actively trying to get yourself killed are two very different things. <laughs> Sounds to me like you've been mulling it over. This has to change. I want to change myself. And I want to change the way things are. <laughs> Good on you. Looks like you got it figured out. You'll... you'll trust me. <laughs> That's the same look you gave us when we first met. You'll do anything to protect your friends, won't you? <laughs> All right, then. Let's make tracks for Colony Mew. That is, if she didn't still seem to be having second thoughts. Care to tell us why? Oh, you noticed. Well, that makes things easier. There are two major stumbling blocks. The first is that you'll have to somehow outwit the console. And second, that only that console knows the location of the flame clock under discussion. Huh? How can you not know? The one you see right now? That's just a fake. Fake? Uh. How's that then? 
Oh, but the consul isn't here right now. This might be the right time to act. Fiona, this isn't the place to be having this conversation. Ah, right. Sorry. In any case, let's talk details at the colony. Our people are on their last legs. We'll need time to get back to strength. Um, please, take this. Circlet of Wisdom. I'm happy right. you were able to send everyone on their way. It really helped me to be a little more positive. Thank you so much. Also, what's with this per- what? requests. What's with the first person We'll be waiting for you at Colony Mew. Don't keep us waiting too long. Good to add more names. That looks like uh, she has left the party for now. Good to add more names. Never seen this place before. I see some relations have changed. Well, at least their flame clock is nowhere near depleted, so you know, we don't have to worry about that, like, being real low. Better make sure we're well rested. Do we have any discussion points? I think we do. A couple of them. Where should I start? Uh, uh, let's, uh... I mean, yeah, considering the Black Flog ca- Black Flog? The Black Fog can lead to annihilation. few minutes to several years. Fair enough. Let's lay out the facts. So now I imagine it has switched our uh, current hero to gray. Yeah, there is the man himself. As usual, gray being uh, an excellent conversationalist. <laughs> well, that gives us a new quest to work with. Now let's get a new recipe to work with. I'll start, shall I? This has me raring to go. Creamy, dreamy fish pie. So that's a new recipe then. Very knob on name for a recipe, all right. Let's keep things on a tight loop. Huh. It actually didn't switch me to gray. It just kind of invited him for a second and then he disappeared again. There's so much choice. 
Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. I should have the money to buy one of everything. How about we go here? Um How about we go here? Exactly where we are right now. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Um... Anyway. Oh, she's reached max rank. He's reached max rank. Um, what classes do you have available? I guess let's give you this one. I'll hit him, and then I'm gonna hit him again. Um, how about our tanks? You're at uh, rank seven. You're at rank seven. You're at rank nine. You're at rank five. I'll, take you I'll just keep your DPS. Am I going to be able to get to that container? Turns out, no. Everyone, we've been waiting for you. This is awesome. Did you guys make this? I suppose we did. Whenever we say farewell to a friend, we plant flower seeds. They kept growing over time, and before we knew it, we had this. It's beautiful, but to think of all the departed. Standing still spells death. If we can't achieve victory, there will be no tomorrow. But still, we didn't want to forget that they were all here once. So that's why you're getting all teary-eyed. What? N no. It's just the pollen. Sure. It doesn't take much to get Commander Boohoo here going. Karma. <laughs> Looks like you're taking a lot on your shoulders. Doesn't it weigh you down? A little. I just wish I wasn't such a weakling. You can put the burden down whenever you want, you know. You can still choose to keep things the same as always. I wouldn't think any less of you if you did. Neither would anyone else here. I love you for saying that, Irma. Just like I love everyone here, and Colony New, where I met you all. And ever since I realized that, tomorrow stopped looking so dark. And that's exactly why I can't run away from my responsibility. I get it. Whatever happens, I trust in you. And I trust you, too. Fiona! Irma! All the squad leaders have assembled. We can start the meeting at your convenience. Understood. I'll be right there. Oh, but before that, Fifi... Tickle ambush! Kuchikuchiku! 
Excuse me, what's going on? Stop it! <laughs> what is this Loosen up, Fifi. weird ass colony here? Yep, yeah, now she's back to herself. We're waiting in the square. Why? I'll get you back, you'll see. <laughs> Run away! It's hard to imagine that the console will make it easy for us with the flame clock. Someone will surely pay for this with their life. Again. Please, do whatever you can to make sure it's not Fiona. Can you? Good to add more names. Oh, so that's a great Nalpon name here. I mean, you're not fun. You're not bound to the flame clock. I see some relations have changed. I found something shiny. We should take good care of that. Yeah, it's weird, like, th there are so many different colonies that work so differently from each other. Like, some of them can barely agree with each other, some of them work very businesslike, and then you have this one, which is just kind of... The Super friendship club? I don't know. I feel like there might be a reason that they're stationed all the way out here. And you know what? That's okay. <gasps> Just let, let them exist here. Even though that Kevesi troop kind of didn't want to do that. Didn't want to cooperate and just leave yeah, these guys be. On it. Here we go. Hey Sim guy, how you doing? I hope we can make use of this. Say, isn't this valuable? We should take good care of that. Can't hear me. Can <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay, I think that the local recording should still be fine, but I am going to have to restart OBS, so one moment. Okay. Um, so I don't think that uh, anything was lost as far as the local recording. Um, everything should be working correctly, except that I'm pressing the wrong button.
or map this out because, well, y'all know me. I like mapping things out. Are we seriously gonna do it now? Those Gavessi dudes are still loitering around. Who's loitering again? God, he's huge! <laughs> Sounded like someone was having a bit of a whinge. We all good here? We're great. Right, Talo? Uh, right, Chief. No whinge in here. Say again? N nothing to say, really. Huh. I'll take your word for it. Time is of the essence. Sorry to rush, but can we get straight to the point? What should we talk about first? Uh, that's a lot of questions. Um, and let's start with probably the uh, least important thing, which is the colony's rank. If the current flame clock is fake, what happens when your rank goes up? As far as I know, I don't think that's ever happened. Wait, you're joking. You've always been on the same level. Nico, that's me. Heard something from the console one time. She said to tough it out and do exactly as instructed, and everything would be all right. Oh? I was told something else. People only see what they want to see, I think it was. Uh, meaning? Meaning, nobody actually wants to see how much is left on their clock, I guess. Well, yeah. I mean, if you knew, you'd just stress out over it constantly. A little more stressing wouldn't go amiss in your case, Tallow, you turkin head. What? Why do you gotta call me names? Just cause. Wow. Well, we don't know exactly what the console intended. But you must have had something in mind to go to these lengths rigging the contraption. Um... You said the colony's flame clock was a fake. What did you mean by that? Wow, pretty blunt, huh? Honestly, we don't really know any more beyond the fact that it's a fake. Since we never use it anyway, yeah? When it's close to running dry, we get orders from the console to go out and fight. Well, what is it for then? Do you think maybe there's some weird advantage to it? Like, maybe the colony's rank is really high but it makes it look lower to get enemies to underestimate us or, or the exact opposite actually we're bottom tier but it looks a lot higher to intimidate people oh yeah it could be that well your actual strength doesn't change so it'd be pretty obvious once you get down to it and also supplies from the castle are allocated based on rank could we see your supplies that would give us a good idea of where you fall, rank-wise. Nico's on warehouse detail. And I'm Nico. I'll get things ready for your inspection. I like how she keeps specifying that, you know, Nico does this and I'm Nico. It's like she can't decide whether to speak in third person or in first person. And it's kind of cute, but also a little obnoxious. You said the console was away. Do you know how long for? Tell you bluntly, we don't know either. She's always disappearing, going off on one special mission or another. In that case, she could be back at any time. I'm sorry that the answer isn't very useful. This all sounds like kind of a big deal. It doesn't bother you. It's nothing special. We don't normally talk much about it. She just sends us down broad stroke orders, like... Go defeat those guys. Send a team to this location. Yeah. The only time she spoke normally was that one time, wasn't it? You know, the time when Fiona became commander. Yuck. Do we have to talk about that? About what? When the previous commander died, Fiona clung to the consul's knees. Started saying that the way we fought was making everyone miserable. Yeah, it turned into a whole, like, debate. Until the console was like, fine then, you try and change it. And made Fiona the commander. What? Just like that? I know, it was a twisted kind of punishment. But now I've got everyone else tangled up in this mess. Whatever. We know you just want the best for us, Fifi. 
That's why you get yourself in such a tizzy. And that's why we want to support you in turn. You're good, Fiona. Better than you know. Hmm. Thanks, guys. Punishing someone with a promotion? That's so bizarre. Yeah, there's a lot of weird crap going on around here. You said nobody knows where your real flame clock is except the console. How are we supposed to find it then? I don't suppose we could just ask the console? <sighs> oh, come on! Why the huge sigh? I was just asking. Someone had to ask. I mean, well, it has to be wrong. somewhere, or the status quo wouldn't be maintained. If you fight, the flame clock must fill up. Suppose you were to harvest a large pool of life in a short time. Oh, it would flow into the real clock. I'd like to investigate any large-scale combat engagements you may have experienced. If we're lucky, someone may have witnessed some signs of the flame clock's operation. Can we take a look into your past battle records? Of course. I'll have them delivered to you. And finally... So, this whole clock-breaking thing's kind of a sudden development, yeah? I wanted to ask how you lot feel about all this. We know how Fiona feels, but are you all okay with what we're about to do? Honestly, I just want Fiona to be able to relax. Like, not have to carry all this responsibility. That's so kind of you. Even if we do this, people will still die. Yeah, but if they do, it will be because of their own failure. That's not the same. She carries the banner for us, and it's because of us that it's so heavy. But that weight's also the momentum that keeps her moving forward. I don't want us doing anything that could sully the purity of Fiona's conscience. All right, all right. Let's all take some deep breaths. We're all friends here. Keep it civil. I'm happy that you're so concerned for me. Thank you. Well, I reckon things will work out one way or another. I mean, come on. You've got us on your side. Yeah, you tell him, Lance. No one wants to lose their mates. Just don't lose track of what matters, yeah? All right. Well, that's I everything. think we've more or less heard all we need. Yeah, I think so too. It's time to get to work. Let's check out the loose threads we've uncovered. We should investigate the supplies in the warehouse and the colony's battle record data. Is that right? I'll make sure everyone gives you their full cooperation. We'll also try looking around for anything we might have missed. If anything turns up, we'll be in touch. Good to add more names. Alrighty. I'm gonna finish mapping out this area. First. I see some relations have changed. Also, there is a container right huh. over here. A container. Finders keepers. Wonder what's inside. Finders keepers. Uh, it's it's Which friggin' in the middle of Colony Mew. Huh. Like, I don't think that's the uh, the attitude to have about this. Well, that's that door we weren't able to cross, so... Alright, Nico. Check out. Welcome to Nico's warehouse. I'm Nico, and this is my... Uh, not my exactly, but it's a warehouse, alright? Look around all you like. Thanks, I won't be a minute. Nothing here really stands out. It's, as I, it's, as, it's all as I'd expect a, uh, from a colony with, this, uh, with the rank that Flynn Fox says they are. By the way, are you the one who does inventory management here? No, I think it might be the console. 
Nico only washes the warehouse. Nico, I should say, is me. Why would a console do that themselves? Frost, Sean, you said you'd come back, you liars. Sorry to bother you. We were hoping to check out the, the old battle. Ah, right. Beefy said to expect you. Bear with me for a moment. Right, I've transferred you the, I've transferred you the data. If you see anything interesting, let me know. Thank you. You will. Interesting news. RPGs always promote stealing from anyone. I see some relations of uh, from anyone and everyone you meet. I mean, you're not really wrong. I feel like that's not something that should be pointed out out loud. <laughs> We could do with some food. Huh. There we go. Could you all come round for a second? Let's have a discussion. Okay. Let's not mince words. Colony Mew uh, Colony Mew is weird. And this is why I can't make friends. I've looked into the combat records. For the past few years, there have been no large-scale combat engagements involving Colony Mew. That in and of itself is understandable, but... Well, we can't do that investigation survey uh, thing you thought of earlier, right? Back to the drawing board, then? Well, perhaps. But what really caught my eye was the wastelessness, so to speak. Without any big wins or losses, there are not only that were there no large swings to the flame clock total, there are also no interruptions to the colony's supply chain over the long term. So, what's that prove except that Fiona and the others are fending, uh, fending well for themselves? I've got to say, that's not really the impression I got of this place at first glance. You've heard them chatting. They don't seem... they don't really seem to talk a whole lot of training or strategy. You think about the personnel turnover. You saw the flower garden. Notice how young they all are. They all are. Add to that the console's extended periods of absence. Ignoring for the sake of argument the insecure environment, the colony's military results couldn't really afford such stability. Come to think of it, didn't Fifi say their colony ranks stayed the same? Right, and the flame clock issue is odd as well. I couldn't stop wondering what the point of the deception was. We said we thought it could uh, could be to fool the enemies, but... The soldiers here aren't given information. It's not even being manipulated, just flat out not being supplied. Fiona and the others don't, didn't seem bothered by it, but... I think in the real world it wouldn't do them any real favors. Why, of the two sides, it's actually... Uh, of the two sides, it's actually Fiona and the others that it affects... What was it Talo said? Something about not stressing all the time? Held. Back the snuff up. You're not saying. The people the consul wanted to see. Was it the residents of Colony Mew all along? There's one more thing that bothers me. Looking at Fiona and the others, didn't they remind you of someone? They don't believe in anything beyond what they can see in the moment. Still thinking that fighting is everything. Like we did way back when? Right. They're so occupied with uh, with a reality put in front of them, they don't think of anything beyond that horizon. In Colony Mew's case, they don't seem much interested in anything apart from the banner that Fiona carries. True that. Soon as is all, as soon as it's about Fiona, they got, all get super passionate. You think they're being used? No, it's not a question of being used or otherwise. I'd imagine we're also only seeing what we want to see. 
So that's why Fiona was appointed commander. Because she's useful for hiding whatever's inconvenient. The consul had, go had to go to such a lengths to devise this. There can only be one reason. The consul is betraying Colony Mew. The raid we interrupted must have been there doing as well. Then we've got to tell Fifi straight away. But instead of doing that, let's train our experience. Get everyone to level 58. I definitely feel stronger. Ugh. Now let's go talk to Fiona. Or go into the wrong screen. <laughs> let's bounce. Another Mobius messing with us. Crap! Well... Tello? Hey, what's wrong with you? Sorry about this, bud. Tello! Don't worry, he'll be all right. But now... Muse Consul. It was you, wasn't it? Oh, hi. Reality, right? It's just so dull. That's why nobody pays it any mind. They'd rather chase pretty dreams. should have just stayed dreaming. <gasps> Why would you do something like this? When someone close to you gets hurt, you want to become stronger for them. That desire and sadness, they make for a quality flame. Is that why you arranged the attack? Conspired with Keves, sacrificed all those lives? Without some hardship, Humans don't come together. It was just the same with you. Cut the crap! How could you put Fiona through this? I know perfectly well what I did. Okay, exploding wolves. Cool. But Fiona, she never once gave up. She wouldn't let the dream be all there was. That purity of purpose. It lifted everybody up. The need to support one another. She taught me that as well. <sighs> oh, well, ain't that nice? Learn this! What are you... Don't hurt my friend! Even if she's bad, she's still my friend! Fiona! <laughs> Fiona! Lance! She literally shot you in the back and is summoning exploding wolves on us. You 
You've already made your choice. You chose what you wanted to see, and freely. Just how heavy is that banner? How many lives do you carry? Please, stop all of their hopes. You did say you'd shoulder them, didn't you? You said you'd never break up. You said we'd be together forever. Crying about it won't change the truth. The fact is, your friends are dead. Bam. Ah! And here comes Mobius I. Also, we should hopefully not have too many issues keeping people off. We do have a whole three healers on the field here. Anyway, we already have a chain attack ready. Let's just go ahead and use that. So many buffs on everyone. Look at that. Charges, cha charges chain attack gauge and grants power charge to all allies. Interesting. Let's give that a try, sure. Sure enough, the chain attack gauge is back up to full. Uh, we got Senna. We could get lands right now. I'm going to take a risk. I hate this point limit thing, I really do. Oh nice. Uh, so we got to tie on, which means I would open up uni. She is not one of the options. We got lands. Uh, we got Senna, which opens up lands. 
He is one of the options, and you should be able to get another exceed here because the guest will never point limit because they're always last. Or we could just do it in one shot too, that, that works. If I had known that, I would probably have used someone else actually. This is going to do a big chunk of health, actually. Point one six million damage. That is my biggest chain attack to date. We're not even gonna need another one. I'll just focus down the boss at this point, really. I'm pretty sure that's a sound strategy. Yeah. Oh, we found it. I see some relations have changed. You think? Pretty sure we know where Fiona is at this point. This is where the flame clock was. How did we never see it before? Look, I'm not great with words, but I wanted to say, I'm sure she was a complicated person too. I'll never forgive what Irma did. I know I can never ever forgive her, but if I'd never met her, I wouldn't be who I am today. She's taught me a lot as well. Just... just promise you won't suffer alone, all right? If things get too much to bear, you can always talk to me. Hello. If you need to grumble or swear or call someone names, I'm your man. I'll get rid of all your worries. You can count on this turk in head, okay? <laughs> Same old Tallo. She woke me up, you know. Irma did. Made me watch you. I couldn't move, but I followed every word you said. 
Perhaps she didn't want you to be alone. But then, why? Why do something like that? I'm supposed to be the Turkin head, not Irma. I... I want to know about these Mobius people. I have to know what Irma was thinking. Will you let me fight by your side still? No reason to say no. You're already our friend, Fifi. Now we got a Fifi and we got a Mimi. And we got a job to do. Don't ever forget how you're feeling right now. I think it'll keep you strong. Yeah. I won't. Not ever. Here we go! Also, were they gold rank? I think they were gold rank. Anyway, through her dramatic parting with Irma, Fiona has gained much strength. Hoping to learn more about Mobius, she has joined the party. So we have gained... Signify... Signifer Fiona, and... Ah, who's the class inheritor for this? I'm really not sure. I'm gonna guess Senna. Glans? Okay, sure. Fiona's class, Class Signifer, Role Healer. A unique healer that applies random buffs to allies and can strengthen the whole party with arts. I see some relations have changed. Have to deal with the pirates alone. I mean, yeah, we we just established that you could. Why are you not in my party right now? Is my question. Uh, I guess I have to do it through here because I don't currently have a, key, a hero equipped at all. Me? I'll try. Do or do not. There is no try. Get you equipped up. Okay, so that is one hero quest done. So um, let's go ahead and equip the other one, which involves that one um, that one Mobius who does not give a crap about being Mobius. Took a lot of pressure off of Canada. Yeah, it kind of is, really. Just having an entire segment of your existence just missing? You don't have any offseers? Good to add more names. Uh, 
Ah, oh, the gate in the back is open now. Let's make sure we talk to as many unique people as we can here. Yeah, I don't think Kanata has uh, really chilled at all. Nico, get over here. Oh, and also I'm Nico. I need to reassure people at least three times an hour that my name is Nico, and Nico is me. What is this poster here? Meeting duty Talos squad. Make sure you close up the waste disposal bag this time. Like I said, I'm sorry. The very cash mode place you got here. That tends to be what they do. And you still need to figure out what the heck is going on. With uh, with Triton. Oh, this gate's still closed. Can we open it from this side? Can. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and use the area map. this. Oh, okay. Just another way into calling you, I guess. So this is where we need to go for uh, Triton's quest. Oh, we've already opened that. There are your land lovers. The challenge for this island is simple. You get to show us your brawn. Uh, brawn? Welcome to Men of the Sea, the brawny deep. There are some beasties in the area known as Gyarks. You have to bring down four of them. It goes without saying that the first to do so wins the challenge. What are you standing around for? Get to it. Get get in gear, Noah. We'll show that mother who's boss. Yep, sure like thing. More names. Is this like a rare thing? So uh, these jerks. I'll lure them in. I, I don't like how foreboding the music is for this, uh, for this guy right here. That was spectacular. And I was the MVP. You were all thinking it. Something 
Like how Toppo flips that monster over on his belly. You're not wrong. It's, that's what that's what it does here. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Right? Excuse me. You know how, how are like how are you going to topple uh, topple an aquatic creature? Other than just to kind of flip it over. It means there were no holes in my strategy. Ether channel there that we don't need to worry about because we're full. I guess that I don't need to fight that level 63 when I'll go there. Although at this point that battle would be kind of survivable actually. Kikirk, Kikirk, Kikirk! Hear that, Noah? Lance wants something a bit meatier. I mean, not like we have much of a choice. This is the one that we're supposed to fight. As much as I'm sure the Triton screw would realistically be um, impressed, I don't think the game would recognize this, seeing as they're not the goal. You're late, Captain. I'm afraid that means you lose. Looks like you're all mouth and no trousers, eh, Captain? Uh... Look at you. You're knackered. Who's taking the handicap now, eh? I must have ate a bad shrimp or something. That be all. Now on the next one. And don't ye even think about backing out now. Set a course for Dadal Oil. Who's backing out? We're the ones kicking his ass. <laughs> it looks like we're actually going to have to set a course. Possibly also take it slow and maybe make it happen, you know, if if we're feeling saucy. And there's our landmark. Ahoy! Welcome to the next challenge, Men of the Sea Booty Calls. 
Bring me high quality booty and I'll judge it. Booty? Exactly. I'll need the most valuable booty on this island. I keep using that word. Yeah, we don't know what you mean or what's on this island. Surely you could send us some, uh, surely you could send us after something a little more concrete. Booty is booty. If you can't tell what but a uh, good booty when you see it, then we're done here. All right, fine, we'll do it. Let's have a think then. Group talk? Yeah, group talk. Good to add more names. All right, group talk. Let's check out who has the best booty. No? Okay. Well. Um. Actual talk. Let's figure out where there's a campfire so we can actually discuss this point. I wonder if we're actually going to have to, like, find a campfire that's not on this island. Huh. Usually there isn't going to be a campfire where there's a lot of creatures like this. There is a supply drop over there. That is, at the very least, something to check out. And it's on the other side of this wall. Let's see if we can scale this. Uh, looks like the answer is probably a no. Ooh, you're level 57. Yeah, things have gone a little bit up in level on this side of the island. And we can still fight this stuff, but I... Oh, my. And that just goes for, like... Any time, really. I just rather not fight things. <laughs> oh, I guess this didn't is see you there. Too, huh? 
still like how the description for the current task in that quest is, um, oh geez, the, uh, the elite sauce. Someone's on time. Ow. I don't have a heal ready, guys. Please heal me. There we go. How did that not heal Tyon? Tyon, get over here in this green circle right now. Oh, you people. I'm not gonna think too much about this. And this is an elite, it's not a unique, it's not a console, it's not any other sort of boss. It is just a tough version of a regular monster. Gonna be a one hitter? That's a one hitter. Oh, now she's just a permanent one hitter. As long as she keeps getting reactivated anyway. Um Let's go with Tyon. Okay, and she's gonna get a Bravo for sure. Also, it doesn't matter who I pick at this point. And actually, that's an amazing on the nose. Triple reactivation, not that it really matters because we only have the one option since our chain, uh, uh, our chain gauge has depleted here. Just beat my high score, I guess. Actually, no, that was my high score. The, the other one was... Was the other one 1.16 or 1.6? I think it was 1.16, right? So that was like 1.44. Huh. 
Another elite there, another elite there. Smaller elite, but still. Might also just not give a crap about this since they're small little critters. This climbable. Yeah, I didn't think so. Maybe able to climb down from there. Also, level 74 up there. Geez, I don't know that I would want to climb up there right now. Anyway, we need to find a camp. I'm not finding one on this island. Let's go back to Colony Mew and discuss it there. I guess. Let's make the most of our break, guys. And I guess we can also discuss calling in the future. I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, you're not really wrong on that point. Not entirely, anyway. But the people around here seem pretty upbeat in, uh, in general. Upbeat but anxious. I mean, they're your colony, you're their commander, they're going to talk to you. Just be assertive. <laughs> I'm sure she, she has no problem with that whatsoever. Then, what is he, a Nopon? Or Nopon? <laughs> Guess you're landline now. <laughs> Could you anyway, come for a second? as far as booty, need something shiny. Food's so delicious it make whole face fall off. Why don't we just collect everything? But I don't know what to do. Let's just do everything. Right, like going. literally everything. Back in we go. Nice of the game to tell me exactly where to go to. Whoa, what's with that one? You okay, buddy? Level 75 unique. I would love to not engage you, please do not move any closer to where I am. Thank you. 
can go over there. That's fine. This is what we were after. All seventy-three. Great. The container over here. thing doesn't engage us. Let's hope that thing doesn't engage run. run. Run, 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 run. Get away. Go. Do not fight. Leave. Okay. Could have been worse. Could have been that guy. Not too keen on the fact that they would have us traveling around this area with its level 70x monsters. There's an ether sphere there, but I would need to kill all those level 73 mosquitoes. Can't go that way. Huh. Yes, please, please to be ignored me. I'm just a simple level 58 baka. And that's just gonna fall the way up there. I'm not gonna bother mapping that right now. I'm gonna leave the fact that it is not completely mapped as an indication that eventually maybe we want to come back. I find it rather fascinating that uh, the enemies down here perfectly manageable level. This guy's level 46. Like notably under our weight class. But now, how do I get to, like, anywhere? I guess there was this little area up here that appeared to be a lot less dangerous. I guess I could have just followed the quest tracer as well. 
that would be a good idea. I have good ideas sometimes, other times I just kind of stumble around until I get it right. around here. You notice that? Also this level 52 unique that's about to go down. This will be a challenge. Don't lose focus. Stand firm. If you run, you'll just get scared of Almost at the chain attack. There we go. Again, not gonna think too much on this. It's mostly gonna be. Not a fan of who's left though. I'm pretty sure that this succeed is gonna take like all four of these characters, or at least three. Maybe only three. Yeah, only three. She got back in action. Uh, so we got Mio, we got Tyon. So that opens up uh, that opens up Noah and Yumi. The lands would uh, be the gamble here. And actually, this might work out. Oh, just on the nose, look at that. Oh, this is gonna be dicey though. 
This has got to be a one-shot or else we're done. Did I get that bonus? Nope, no bonus there. That's gonna do it. I think the bonus is a class skill. But it's something that if I really wanted to, I could just equip on everyone. stuff with that one though. Let's go ahead and grab this item here and we'll head back to the the quest giver. This is what we were after. Ah, I'm so glad we found it. We're back with the booty. Oh, that was fast. But then what did I expect? Right, let's not waste time. Show me what you brought. We found these three things, but... Now wait a second. Mate, rude. What I asked you, what I asked you for was booty of the highest value. Whichever way you slice it, there's only one most valuable booty, not two and certainly not three. So please pick one of them and pass it to me. Awkward. What do we do? So what do, what do you think, Sim Guy? What's your opinion? Do we go with the amber, the coconut, or the fossil? My guess is this selection is not really going to matter, but it's going to make a difference on the uh, dialogue. You think the amber? Let's give that a try. This is what we've picked. Get a load of that. Oh, ho, interesting. Yeah, they be here first. All right, beef. Taking it easy, are we? Unlike some people, I have a more discerning eye and take my time with things. Anyway. What have you got there? A rock, is it? Ha ha ha! You reckon you'll beat me plonking down a little old rock? Say that again. This is what I brought. Any fool could see it's bigger. Whoa. That is pretty big. Oh, good choice, Captain. This local fruit is said to be jaw-droppingly delicious. Totally true! could have told you that. Hmm. That'll be a win for me, then. Our guests are the winners, Captain. What? I did ask for the most valuable booty. What our guests have brought sells for ten times more than that coconut. Hey. And while the coconut is certainly delicious, its value is only so-so. Maybe the value is only so-so, but have you seen it? Look at the size, 
And it tastes fantastic. Bigger be better than smaller, says I. It's worth more in size, therefore I win. Friend right. Taste alone make it bestest treasure. Whose side are you on? Whose side are you on, shortcake? <laughs> No, you did not win. Just man up and accept you lost. Captain, accepting defeat is part of being a man of the sea. Ugh. You've really got me over a barrel here. Well played. But the next one's gonna be mine, you'll see. Come to Cape Arcafor. I'll give you a damn good thrashing. Oh. Hmm. That man is a few screws short of a Levness. So maybe it would have mattered. I wonder what would have happened if we had uh, also selected the coconut. Well. How about we go here? Nope. I don't want to put down a marker exactly where we are. Oh, wait, is that where we are? No, that's that is where we're going. Okay. Well, in any case, um, let's go ahead and drop a save. It's good to keep a record. And. It's good to keep a record, and it's also good to take a break. So that's what we're gonna do. So y'all can uh, take a moment, get some drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about 10 to 15 minutes we shall take on the third of Triton's challenges. So I'll see you in a bit.